18 miles. Ah, oh, kind of thought I might be a bit closer than that. We have a long way to go anyway, so. Oh well. Ding 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 ding. I'll buy it. What are the chances of that happening? Whoa, you got a big claw there. Big pelicans. When when you're in need, people come to you. You know, like like the universe works in your favor when yeah. you're like. But you have to be honest about your situation. You right. have to be. You have to tell your truth. Right. Not tell it like in a kind of hoping you'll give me something where right, it's like, right. oh, let me tell you my problem. Yeah. But just be honest about your truth. Yeah. And so you're being honest with everyone and not everyone will be the one who steps up and helps. Right. But when they do, it comes like so unexpected. Yeah. Um, like you, I wasn't expecting that. I was just thinking, oh, I'll just get yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see on the video. I was like, no, oh, well. Yeah, dude, that, I saw you and I was like, because I wouldn't have said anything unless I saw you. I was like, damn, because I know Palm City is like, that's eight miles at least. Yeah. You know, it's like, so. I just don't look at the miles. I look at the map. I look at what looks cool. Yeah. And then I just go. I don't try to for you, man. count to inspirational stuff. You know. One day I might do it for sure. Yeah. Do whatever you want. So do. what inspired you to do that? Like I mentioned, the Forrest Gump thing. Um, but like, like what like determines the factor? Right, to really put it. the belt together and yeah. to do it. I suppose instead of running around the, the block, running around, you know, people go out to do your know, marathon or whatever, right. but they always have to come home again. Yeah. So I started to test the boundaries when I started eating this way. It's like, instead of coming home again, what would happen if I just ran, ran, right. ran? And of course, on a map, you can start to go, even if you just did 10 miles a day. Yeah. In 10 days, you'd be 100 miles away. Right. Right. And if it's sustainable, like your body's not, exhausted and you can heal and recover then I start to think this would be like a cool lifestyle yeah. and I love to do this video this mm -hmm. so I suppose that's really it putting those jigsaw pieces together yeah. and then everyone else who does any long distance thing they're pushing up a pram what we call a pram a stroller uh -huh. like I think your street cred goes down a bit when you're right. pushing some wheeled thing like that's not running around the world that's right. running along pushing a stroller right so I was determined to not do that, and I started Googling, like, what's the smallest, lightest laptop? I've got a laptop. Wow. I've got, like, the smallest, lightest 500 gram tent. It's not much bigger than this. Oh, wow. Um, sleeping bag, everything, like, you know, cooking kit. Um, what? Phone, like, everything. Like a webcam, set cam. The camera's always on. It's always on. That's awesome. I'm so glad I stopped there. Like, Zach was a really cool guy. We're totally gonna keep in touch. I'll keep him sponsored on my airbags, <laughs> sandbags, water bags, laptop bags, sleeping bags, tent bags. It's interesting, how do I know where to stop? The answer is I don't. Just something intuitively says, that place looks cool. And sure enough, he's waiting for me right there, the minute I walk in. I love how I had the camera on too, so you could see that I couldn't have planned that any better. <laughs> you know, I've walked right into the guy who owns the smoothie truck. What are the chances of that happening? Whoa, what is that? There's a crab in the street? You've got to be kidding me. Whoa! I'm a little crab friend. I'm a little crab friend. Ding ding digga digga ding ding digga digga ding digga digga ding ding. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Are you guys a bit sideways? I'm gonna go behind you here. Whoa! You got a big claw there. Hey, little friend. I'm not gonna hurt you. You got a cute claw. Do you want to show me your claw? The claw, the claw. All right. I love you, little crab friend. That's the first time I've ever seen a crab in the street. Look at him creeping around sideways. I'm creeping. That was cool. 
I've never seen a crab in the street. <laughs> that was brilliant. What a little legend. Nah, nah, nah. All right. So I'm back to the beach where Isabel and James dropped me with the melon. So I've pretty much remained consistent and have good integrity in running the whole way. It's not like I, I cheated by going in a car at all. I've actually kind of done more miles. And it's been more interesting this way. I'm happy I met Zach. And I wish I had a basketball. Good quality hoops. Yo, hoop dreams. It's something to think about, adding to the belt a deflated ball and a pump. Yo, so my mind is saying, gotta keep running, 10 a.m., 10.30, getting hot. You should be there by now. You've got miles to go yet. You're a long way. But this is such a beautiful beach. Look, there's a pelican flying across the water. I wish I could zoom and show you guys what I see sometimes. When I was here last time, I didn't have much battery, so I couldn't film much. But there was an epic moment where I was deep in this blue, clear water and two pelicans flew by like whew, about a foot away from the water. They were like skimming along in such a cool kind of way. I was just like, wow, I've never been that close to like big pelicans. <laughs> just skimming across the water. It's like not wavy, completely flat, clear water. So taking my shoes off and in honor of being the funnest guy to run across America and not the fastest I'm taking a break and I'm going in Look at the pelican friend. He's a big pelican friend. Go, buddy, yeah! Wow! There's my buddy! Yes! I'm so happy you got to witness that. The pelican flyby. Look how clear this water is. Just, can you see that? Whoa! Can you see that? Look, there's my leg. There's my leg, there's another leg, there's a leg, there's another leg. It's just so clear and clean and ah, uh, lush, <laughs> lush. This was a good choice. Pause running, free smoothie from Zach, Ital bowls, boom, thank you for that living life in luxury. This is what people would do on holiday, right? Go to the beach, drink a smoothie. <laughs> I'm on holiday right now. A lot of people would think that this is a very difficult challenge. And that I think is where the question comes from. Why are you doing this? And is it for charity? Because they can't imagine that anyone would do it for fun. <laughs> They're like, you do this for fun? This is your idea of fun.
<laughs> that's one of the coolest things that's happened. Pelican flyby and a crab in the street. <laughs> that's made my day. All right, so I've changed my shorts. I've got my dry shorts on, a fresh new pair. Oh, now you decide to do the leaf blowing. Wah. I just thought I'd show you this. A good example of where you can sometimes find plugs. I've been powering up in this random sort of toilet area. Just an example of plugs. Right, I'm gonna put that back in the belt and we're gonna go. So a recharge for my body and a recharge for the camera. Alrighty then, we're off. I've spoken to Peter, he's the next house Houch surfing couch surfing house host and he is in Fort Pierce Fort Pierce has a golden corral golden corral is an all-you-can-eat buffet I've got my sights set on that but it's another 20 miles and I've already done whatever I've done this morning it's quite a long way um, and it's hot now it's 11 maybe 11:30. But I hear that there's meant to be some clouds and some rain around 3 p.m. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll be staying in the shade where I can and just try not to get too burned. Don't get burned. Zach's really given me some good nutrition. Much better to meet people with a blender than to bring my own blender. <laughs> I'm learning that now. Your life is certainly some sort of a journey. It's certainly some sort of a journey. And we have to all be aware that when we're making journeys, we're not going to always make the right steps. And sometimes you have to back up and try again. And if you're in a position where you can't back up and try again, you've trapped yourself. Because people define themselves by the past. Instead of thinking about who they are now, Instead of, they, they still look back at a mistake they made and don't just get past that mistake, grow and learn, but dwell on it. Think oh. it defines them. Pretty hot, pretty sunny, but I'm catching some of the shade like this where I can. Definitely not running on the other side of the road. From what I can tell, the island is gonna be like fancy houses like this which is nice and a little bit of sidewalk it's better than like main roads highways city concrete jungle traffic noise a bit more peaceful a bit more distance we have a long way to go anyway so oh well <laughs> I'm conscious that this video is just pictures of blue signs and me running past car parks but at least I'm near the beach you know I just I'm gonna lose so much energy running in the sand I'm doing good I'm getting away with some shade and then there'll be some sunny patches and then a little bit of shade and it's like 50 50 right now <sighs> nothing hurts music is good Strange little creatures running around, little lizards and tiny little crab things. Nothing like the big one we saw earlier. Good, happy. Just really, my sights are set on Golden Corral. Like, it sounds funny for people who know Golden Corral. 
but that's all I can think about. It's just like all you can eat, unlimited, a massive variety of choice, and no cooking and no washing up. You know? That's what I think about. That's my finish line. Eighteen miles? Ah. Oh. Kind of thought I might be a bit closer than that. I think I've done four miles from the beach that I was on. 18 miles to go, that's a long way. It's just a long time. You know, it's just, I'm gonna be out here all day. I'm looking around for food, like, ooh, what can I eat? I've got raisins with me. <sighs> Might eat them soon, just. Stop them weighing me down. <laughs> Insert witty remark here. I feel like there's so many funny things you could say. Leave comments down below. It's worth a try. Let's see what they got. What you got for me? I'm running to California. You're what? I'm running to California. You're running? So I got here from Miami with this. This is my house. It's like my tent and my sleeping bag and everything. Wow. Yeah. From Miami you're going to California? I got to here from Miami, yeah. And I'm gonna keep going, try to get to California. How long, are you gonna take? How long is it gonna take? It might be like a year. Holy smokes. So I'm taking my time, I'm editing, taking videos along the way and uploading it every day to YouTube. Is there a like, reason that you're doing it? Because uh, I can, because it's fun, because mm -hmm. it's personifying freedom. Good for you. And to see if I can do it unsupported. This is what I was going to ask. This is where I'm going with this. I'm trying to see if I can do it without, like, of course I've got my house. But I'm trying to see who will help along the way. Like, I'm looking at your smoothies, like, would you be able to make me a smoothie? I'll buy it. Yeah, straight away, he's but right. I got it. This is amazing. Yeah, I okay. got it. Just put it on my desk. This is part of the... Uh, what else do you want? Just the biggest smoothie possible. Let's go for... That the, you, that's it? You want any other smoothie? Well, or, or two smoothies. You know, yeah. The smoothies are best for me when I'm running, because I can just drink Give it. Me. Two smoothies and I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Man. I, 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 this I, I is what happens that. along the way. So I've been documenting it all, and it's it's been incredible. Like, I could pay, but that would be a very boring documentary. Yeah. Like, give him two smoothies. I'll have a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I, I can't afford. I can't afford. That's it. That's a all documentary I got. of some guy with like a support crew and hotels and everything paid for. It. Not as interesting as this. Yeah. You know, meeting people like you and you know, it's just Yeah, like, that's cool. I like it. That's really I'm in on that. I, I like that. I, yeah. So what you're here from Miami. Yeah. What what's your right now direction? I'm running to Fort Pierce. Go to Fort Pierce? Crazy. What kind of smoothie do you like? What do you got? I guess we'll have two different flavors. Okay, strawberry, banana, mango, pineapple, peanut, colada, and raspberry. Yeah. Let's have both of them banana based. One of them with oh, kind yeah. of a strawberry raspberry twist, and then one of them with a the mangoey pineapple twist. Like That's fine. That's fine. a red one and a yellow one. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And thank you so much. What's your name? I'm Sean. Sean. Seth. Seth Camp. Like Seth. Like Sebastian. Okay, Seth. Nice to meet you, and man. And I made the name on YouTube like it's like a webcam, but I'm set. Huh? Okay. So, so you, I'll you, help you to find it. You're 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 you're, you're a YouTuber. I'm saying like the camera's always on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like a webcam, I'm just documenting everything. So we got your magic moment. Are you happy to be on YouTube? You're I don't care. Like, yeah. yeah okay. but you're like the hero of the day. I, and so far, I've been calling it the, the brilliant people of the day. Like the brilliant people I meet every day. That's now cool. You're the, the hero of the day. That's cool. So you're going to Fort Pierce, so... You can get this funny place where I'm running to in Fort Pierce, in my head, Golden Corral. The Golden Corral? <laughs> it's all you can eat. Right? It's all you can eat. Yeah. I'm going to eat so much. Raspberries.
<laughs> I'm so glad I stopped. I almost didn't stop either. I looked at it, I thought, ice cream, maybe, maybe not. I just took a chance. Awesome. You were here. This is pineapple banana. Ah, super cool. <laughs> I'll have a smoothie. What else do you want? I'll have two smoothies. <laughs> well, that was a surprise. And honestly, a big surprise. I almost, almost didn't go in because I was on the other side of the street. <laughs> I was like, Oh, I don't want to have to cross the street. And it just says ice cream. What are the chances that they have something that's not dairy? They've given me so much, I'm just going to walk with it. She even said, do you want anything else? I'm like, I don't think I can carry anything else. And this is giving me brain freeze already. And I can't even drink it because I'm filming. So I'm going to have to stop filming to enjoy this. And I decided I'll just walk a little way while I drink it. It's lovely to be in the air conditioning, but I feel like there's a lot of miles ahead. So let's make up some of those miles in luxury. Walking with ice cold smoothies, giving myself brain freeze. There's an amazing raspberry flavor. She put tons of raspberries in and then the pineapple banana. It never fails to surprise me, like, I know we should be almost like expecting it by now with such a good record of success, yet it still takes me by surprise, like, wow, there's so many lovely people around. That's really what this whole thing is about, like, let's show on the news, you look into, you know, you tune into the news and it's all bad news of bad people. Where's the good news? Where's the good news with the good people and the lovely people? Like, let's tune into that. Let's see how many good, lovely people are out there. Let's begin to make our own news. Today I've just drank smoothies all day that have been lovingly given by lovely people. That's the latest news story from Sebcam TV. <laughs> Take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah!